What up, Heart Squad? Today, I'll be showing y'all the biggest scams in Pokemon cards. I went to Walmart, Target, bought every single third-party product I could find, brought it back to my studio so I can open it up for y'all today as a sort of PSA, public service announcement, but to also get your opinion. And you can do this by leaving a comment in the comment section below to let me know if at whatever time you disagree and that these products are actually legit, let me know. I welcome your input. But starting several years ago with the original mystery power boxes, I will be opening up these two today. To the infamous poop plush incident of 2018. Are you kidding me? This plush has poop on it. The form of third party products that you are about to see have always been peculiar and most likely just pretty much terrible. But today, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna go through uh, all the products. And if you can, as always, to help support the video, Horror Squad, please leave a big old thumbs up, hit that like button. Let's get this video to 8,000 likes. And as always, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Join the Heart Squad, the absolute best community in the entire world. But without further ado, let us get into the first type of product. That would be these extreme value blister packs from Target is the fancy word, or Target. Now, seemingly very popping, colorful, and bright, and fun, and, and vibrant, and whatever else you want to say. These packs go for around $349, which is apparently extreme value, and they're made by, of course, the most infamous company of them all. The Unfairfield Company. If you see that logo, run away as fast as possible because the products in this package have been purchased directly from the manufacturer or purchased from the secondary black market. Basically, these products are not the best to get. However, that being said, I try to weigh all opinions and all evidence, being a former attorney slash still am licensed, that is, some people have found Hidden Fates packs inside of these extreme value one. In fact, here's a Sun and Moon Unified Minds pack. That's about the best pack I can ever find in one of these things, because otherwise they're just random XY series packs, like the, of course, the absolute worst Theme Siege. But we will get into these products now. I have yet to actually really pull something incredible from these. There were some with Cosmic Eclipse packs, I believe that I opened up way back when, and uh, didn't get anything too, too crazy. So there's a nice little Do Not Backstock sticker on the back. Nothing's gonna beat the uh, product I got over here when an actual movie sticker from 2017, or uh, excuse me, shelf sticker, popped out of the blister pack. Yeah, that was amazing. So we'll get into this pack pretty fast in the rest of these, and then we're gonna move on to the next product. I got all the products. I got every product I could possibly find from Target and Walmart from third-party products. Like I said, or maybe not said, none of these products are made by the official com uh, Pokemon company or Pokemon Company International. These are all random other companies. Now that that's said, we do not get to do the Gassy Energy today, but what we get to do is hopefully get at least one holographic from all of these lovely things. Cadney, Larvitar, Vallaby, Fennekin. Is it Fennekin setting the field on fire? Minchino, and of course it would be a Mr. Mime. Now's a good point to say, if you missed yesterday's video, I pulled one of the best cards from the newest Pokemon card set, Rebel Clash. You wanna go check out that video? I highly suggest you do right as soon as this video is over. It will be right over here, so you can go ahead and bookmark it. Let's get into the next extreme value. Whoa. Fire. It's extreme. It's just a sticker, actually, and it's really not even that extreme value. Why? Now I need Lisa the letter opener to get this open. Okay, okay, crisis averted. Oh my goodness, look at that do not backstock. Is this, oh, I'm pretty sure I just tore that as I was just doing that. So I, I will be very, very careful. Uh, this is Evolutions. It's, it's not a bad set. It's just a very, very common set. There's so much excess surplus of Evolution packs in general in the world right now that as an amazing set as it is, originally coming out, I believe, in the summer of 2016, it really is just, it's out there. We'll just say that and move on. Dugtrio Reverse Rare, 
and Mewtwo non-holographic. And the last pack would be this, Unified Minds. If you have somehow found Hidden Fates packs from these and actually pulled something, let me know. I do want to say some people actually pulled some cards from the, like decent cards from these. So this product, while it is not an official product, it does offer at least sometimes some good pulls. But that being said, I'd always be wary of these types of products. We do get to do the Gassy Energy, very nice. Psychic Energy, okay, there no goes for that. Cherish Ball, Tauros, it's the Turtle. Slackoth, Drifloon, Dupider, Druddygon, Cottony, Talonflame, that is a reverse rare, and... I take back everything I say about these! No! I will eat some crow now! I will take it! A Viridian Forest Secret Rare Stadium card! Okay. I will just draw back a little on those specific products, but a Viridian Forest Stadium card. Okay. I see you now. But that was one in a million, essentially. The next product that you are about to see is this, and you know it fully well by now. And I'll get it in focus for y'all. A Detective Pikachu kit. While overall for $19.99 plus tax, this box isn't too, too bad. I won't, that's not what I complain about because it does come with that very creepy looking Pikachu. It's right here. This first edition base set Charizard card. A card that is worth well over $5,000. Do I think there is even a remote chance of finding one of these cards? No, nada. Nothing. You, you are not going to pull that card. If somebody does pull it, I told you to contact me as soon as possible because I did a video where I opened up like a ton of these. Nothing. It was it was terrible. That's why in it legally doesn't even tell you on the box the, the actual odds of you getting this card. It's just like, look for randomly inserted PSA first edition. Why PSA 8? Because 7, 8, 9? Okay, that didn't make sense. But what I'm going to say here is you're not gonna get a PSA 8 Charizard card. You may get a PSA 8 first edition card and it's maybe like a common jungle card, which is nice, not worth anything, but it's basically just gets you to buy these types of boxes and you know, me trying to tell y'all to stay away, I'd stay away from these. And no, just because I'm opening it right now doesn't mean I'm supporting it. I only bought it this one time for this video, so no one else goes out there and buys these. But oh my gosh, welcome home. It's the Pikachu plushie. Now, I do like this because it actually does. It's an, it's an official Detective Pikachu Pokemon product, and it has the tag on it from Wicked Cool Toys still, so it's cool. Let's do a little check here just to make sure there's no uh, reoccurrence of the poop plush incident of 2018. Still got bad memories from that. We'll toss it over here and we'll see what's on the inside because this says potentially get Ultra Prism packs, which I have yet to see anybody pull those. You do get that Detective Pikachu pack and you do get a Cosmic Eclipse pack. It's probably just going to be all Cosmic Eclipse packs in that. I have yet to even find somebody that has gotten the Detective Pikachu hat coin. So we'll see if we can get it today. Oh my goodness, it's Cosmic Eclipse. Wait, what? oh, okay. I was like, that's kind of like not the best, but whatever. And next, oh, it's another Cosmic Eclipse. Now where's that Detective Pikachu pack? There it is. Last but not least, oh, does that look like a Pikachu coin to you? To, no, it does not look like a Pikachu coin. So we're gonna toss that to the side. And yes, I know, I'm gonna reiterate. The previous product did give us this fine Viridian Forest Secret Rare, and frankly, it's kind of embarrassing. But at the same time, I would probably lean still against purchasing any type of secondary product, especially the ones you are gonna be seeing soon enough. But I will say, it was very, very hilarious that I did pull something like that in this video. Oh, there we go, a very nice 
holographic Mewtwo from the Detective Pikachu pack. Well, they're all hollows, but that's a rare Mewtwo. That's actually pretty decent, so I will take that. But the main thing about this detective kit is the fact that it says it doesn't give you the odds. And as an attorney, I'm pretty sure you're legally required to at least say like one out of 20 boxes, approximate odds of pulling a first edition. It used to say on the older mystery power boxes, it used to say the odds. Now it doesn't say anything anymore. That's why I'm like, just be very skeptical about it. So I'm gonna say leaf energy for the guess the energy. Lily. Jolteon, Pangoro, Vulpix, Rockruff, Stuffle, Roulette, Phantom of the Opera, and a Blacephalon Hollow. The only other, the only ultra rare I think I've ever pulled from these packs from the detective kit has been the, I think it was the Alolan Persian GX, a $2, $1 card and I pulled it twice. That is it, that was it. And the thing I was referring to uh, before was it like in here from one of the detective kits that I pulled before in a video, which y'all can go watch, The uh, there was like a shelf coupon or a shelf item like price that said uh, it was from the year 2000. I mean, it was from 2017. Like what was it a three year old thing doing in a cosmic clothes pack like that? Don't ask me, don't ask me. But. Leaf, I thought I would go for the two for one. Didn't happen. Ends Resolve, Larvesta, and Cosmic Eclipse, actually, I will admit, is a fairly decent set to get in the box. It's still a relatively new set, as opposed to the X and Y sets that you're about to see in this product, which I'm fairly sure many of y'all have seen these at your local Walmart. I believe this was $4.99. It says it comes with one booster pack and the big A and D, five cards inside which I would be surprised if they're anything even close to being even decent. Trading card game. It's it's a fit. It's it's just the trading card game. You don't know what you're gonna get. Let's see who this is made by. It's and if there's any more rules, uh, if that would focus. The collective products in the pack have been purchased directly. Oh, what do you know? It's the same thing. This time it's by MJ Holding Company LLC. Another company I would be very very leery of when it comes to these types of products, but let's take a look. Uh, I don't think I've opened up one of these products in a while, or at least I'm talking about the XY Primal Clash Pack. You ready for these five cards? Let's see it. Oh my gosh, it's an un unfocused Scyther. All right, so Scyther from 2019, Onyx, Doduo, look at these winners. They're all winners in my book except this Glamia because its face is awkwardly shaped. But there we go. So was this worth the $5 price? No, it was not worth the $5 price. Now I want some French fries right now. $5 price, XY Primal Clash. I don't even know like the good cards from the set, if there are any more good cards from the set, but three cards, no guess the energy, a little escape rope action, Masquerain, Repeat Ball, Corefish, The Trap, Horsey, that's kind of a cool looking Vulpix. Spiel, Sean Connery, Kyogre, Reverse Rare, and Del Caddy. It's Glammeow's Revenge <laughs> at me. So, so far, we have pulled a Viridian Forest Secret Rare Stadium. And I will say again, I was not expecting to get something like this before because no one has actually pulled really anything from things I opened up earlier. But I'm glad, this goes to show everybody's now gonna see this. There may be actual hope. Now the next product is from Target or Target. 20 cards plus one foil card, which is probably gonna be a reverse holographic, and one online card exclamation point. It would be even more amazing if they can actually put the Pokemon cards not upside down in the packaging, but you can't win them all. What do you know? It's also made by the Unfairfield Company. Let us begin by getting into the first one of these and do it in absolutely terrible style. Thankfully, we have least the letter opener here. Simple reminder, guys, if you are enjoying today's video, please, please hit the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 8,000 likes and also get ready for some more upside down cards. Wait, why was this card the one that they just like hid? Okay, so, so far, 
We don't have a holofoil card. Let's just take a look through all of these. See if there's actually a... Oh my gosh, it's a two for one special. Now we got it. Magneton, there's two of them. Okay, so we get a little, uh, you know, upside down Wimpod, you know, to each their own. Pinch. What, do they, why do they not even bother to put the cards in the correct way? At least, like, make it like you're actually, like, uh, trying. Oddish, hit him on top. Quagmire from Family Guy, Pupitar, Oddish. Oh, now we're cooking some fairy energies. Rest in peace, fairy energy. Oh, and it's a reverse holographic common star, you. Right, it's common? Yeah, it's a common. It's a common. And XY Primal Clash, Ocean's Core Kyogre. So there's the amazing, amazing code for that. Uh, I don't even know how much these were. These were clearly not worth, I think they were like almost $10 for these, or maybe it was five. No, I think it was like $6.99 or something like that. Yeah, I, 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 I don't even know why. I don't even know why these are out there, but there's a reason why they're still on the shelves. You may have seen my videos from the past where I told y'all, oh my goodness, is this a Generations Meow Stick? A Radiant Collection Meow Stick. They look like they're about to like do like the next Fire album of 2017. <laughs> there is the card. It's still not worth anything, but at least it's not a type of reverse holographic. It's actually a Radiant Collection card. Oh my gosh. There's a commonality. We get two energies. Two energy. Two energies. What? <laughs> That's a Neogenesis Cyndaquil. Uh, I'll take things I would have never expected for 2000. That's actually still not worth anything, but it's in decent condition. And it's a vintage card. You can actually say this is a vintage Pokemon card. And it's actually decent than the other one. So a Cyndaquil Neo Genesis uh, for the random card, Drampa the Grandpa. I'll go through these really fast. I've got some energies and a, wait, why is this like really, like do you see the glossiness on this? It's like almost like it's fake, but I guess not, so. All right, so I was a bit surprised with that one, but now we have, we have more products, don't worry. A six pack power box. Now, this is the only current available product that was in stores, also by MJ Holding. And as I get into it, this is, I'm opening this one up more so as a like reminder that the mystery power boxes that I've opened up way too many on this channel before, this kind of just encompasses all of those where, you know, it would show you that you can get a first edition base set pack in a box, but yet today, no one has ever pulled a first edition pack in a box. So this is kind of like, what is the word? I'm, I'm forgetting it, but it's in like honor of all of those. So we'll, cl we'll quickly get into this and see the packs. Oh, it's everybody's favorite set. Celestial Storm, Fates Glide, there's the code. What is this? A Cosmic Eclipse, Lost Thunder, and a Guardians Rising in the very nice, is that a Genesect? The Genesect coin. That's about it. That's all folks. I think that was 20 to $25 for that box. But what I really wanna talk about that box is the fact that it is just, they've been getting worse and worse. I didn't even know what set this was. Psychic energy, okay, good. It, the mystery power boxes used to actually include lots of, like they actually included packs. You can go check all my old videos under my mystery power box playlist from the past five years basically. Top of the morning, Coco! Very nice. And you will see that I used to actually pull, and other people as well, would pull vintage packs from those things. But then, as they got more popular, they basically just amped up what was on the box, but actually didn't put anything in the boxes. I don't even know what this one was. This Fate's Collide, I'm sorry guys. I'm just gonna go, okay. Sorry, Fairy Energy, I'm so sorry. Natu, how do you do? It's a very nice car. You gotta say that whenever you pull a Natu. And Mill Tank. I'm actually surprised we did pull a Tapu the Morning Coco GX, full art. Usually I also pull nothing from these boxes, but I will take it. Fire Energy, yes! Everybody, pats on the back. Uh, let's see here. Let us try to pull another Hyper Rare Charizard and Brakeson. Anybody? Think that would be nice? Dupider, Helioptile, Carvana, na na na, Pyroar, and Muck doing chores. 
okay? I still have two more products that I will be showing y'all shortly as soon as we get done getting through these packs. This is Fates Collide. Uh, I guess the Full Art Alakazam is the card that it's not really worth too much, but it just looks really, really cool when you pull it. It's very cool. Solosis, Cottony, Kabotops, and Tyranitar. Okay, it's holographic, nothing too crazy there. Now we have, oh gosh, Yveltal, it's what's for dinner. Yveltal, it's the higher quality meat. All right, so enough about eating Yveltal. Let's just get into the Steam Siege pack and just be over with it. I, I still, to this day, don't know why this Ambipom is just modeling for us in a provocative way. Meowth, Larvesta, Fletchling, Osh, Sneasel, Clawitzer, and a Shift Tree. It's a dual type holographic card. All right. Celestial Storm. And to this day, I have still yet to pull the Rainbow Hyper Rare Rayquaza. Will I pull it today? Most likely not. But if I do, then, uh, then it'll be nice. Water Energy. Okay. Minun. Copycat. Loudrid. C dot dot dot. Goldpin. C dot dot dot. Shoop. There it is. Jirachi Prism Star. Not bad. And Grumpig. Non holographic. Now, I have these final two products. What do you know? It includes 20 cards and a foil card, but it's more colorful. Let's see who it's made by. And look at this small print. You need a magnifying glass. MJ Holding Company is the one that also makes these. Let us see if I can actually get into this. And I'm, oh, oh my gosh. Look, I think there was a holographic dragon. Look at that. We can buy the world! Alright, so... Oh, it's the same formula of the two energies. There's the Squirtle before the Buffet. That's a nice card from Team Up. And... And... And that was it! I think these were actually more than like $8 or something. At least the cards, like I said, they're like they're upside right. So I will take that. Alright. When I'm done opening this, don't go nowhere because there is one final thing I want to do. Oh, and we're back. Oh, look at that. How lucky can one guy be? Two holographics. Reverse holographics. There's the two energies. And of course, no goes. Golding is pissed. Nose goes for the rest of these. All right. Now, because I need to just... These packs. Fresh quality air of actual good packs. Lost Thunder, I just want to get in just to, just, just to, just smell that quality, real, real packs. All right, Fighting Energy. Slicoon, Faba, Sightseer, Combi, Litleo, Cutifly, Hopip, Eevee, Dustox, in a Grand Bowl. I don't even care at this point. It's just the fact that these are sweet, sweet, real packs. If you can, please do consider subscribing to the channel Psychic. If you enjoy this video, if you disagree with what I said, feel free. Carvana na na na. Feel free to comment in the comment section below. Otherwise, for the most part, stay away from these products and a Gallade Holographic. All right, Heart Squad, I hope you enjoyed this video. You want more videos? See the one over there? Click it right now. My name is Lean Heart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.